Today is June 21st, 2020. This happens to be Father's Day, so if there's any fathers out there listening, Happy Father's Day to you. Our subject today is to distinguish the difference between means versus ends and how to combine them together into a more perfect solution. My name is Charles Souter, and my main message here is that means only have value for reaching valuable ends. In other words, means are a way to reach an end. My best example I can give is that if you're going on a journey to reach a destination, the journey is the means and the destination is the ends. People tend to get confused between the two. And some people even believe that the ends justify the means. But a bad means detracts from a good end. For example, if you have a bad journey, to and from your destination, bad, bad trip on the airplane, for example, it can detract, sometimes even ruin a, a, a good vacation. The means to an end can and should be as satisfying as the ends. For every end, there are many good means, and perhaps one best means for satisfying that end. The best means achieves a desired end effectively. That means it gets, it, it achieves and gets you to the destination. It's cost effective and it honors other personal values. Both your ends and your means must be chosen carefully, judiciously, and intentionally so as to maximize the rewards of investing your time and treasure in their attainment. Let me go through some propositions. Righteous ends do not justify unjust means. Both the ends and the means must be value-added, enhancing the quality of your life. There are many means to an end. Some are better than others. Avoid any means that violate other God-honoring values that will only detract from the value of the end that's achieved. Proposition 2. Pick the right ends first and then pick the right means. Both the ends and the means must be value added, which means that together, collectively, they add to the value of your life. The right means reflect and enhance the values of the beholder. That would be yourself. The right means are cost effective and effective in realizing your desired end. The right means cause no collateral damage. Proposition three, the right means enhances the value of your intentional ends. Put as much thought and deliberation into picking the means as you do in picking the ends. Both are important and both should be mutually complementary and compatible. Don't rush to implement an end unless you first find the right means. If the means does not bring you joy, perhaps it should not be done. Be patient as you search for the right means for achieving your ends. Now you'll know when you found the right means because you won't want to wait to get started. The wrong means tarnish the value of the ends, as I've already mentioned. The right means can add and bring much joy and pleasure to the ends. Again, you'll know you've chosen the right means by its fruits. In other words, you'll feel good about it intuitively, it'll feel just right, and you won't be able to wait to get started. My final message is for every end, there is one best means to fill it. You just have to take a little bit of time to find it. For every end, there's a right means, you must make a concerted effort to find both. The ends is a choice, the means is a choice, and you must connect the two together to make a good fit. Happiness is a life filled with rewarding ends, satisfied by rewarding means. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.